So, I've already posted my week six vlog, so let's call this week six plus. As you know from my week six vlog, that I'm trying to move more. I'm trying to be less fat. So this morning, this morning being Sunday, I decided to take another walk. And while I was walking and being alone, a story came to me. And so this is how the story goes. Imagine a preacher. No, no, no. A reverend. No, that's still not quite it. A chaplain. Imagine a chaplain. We'll call him Chaplain Daryl. And Chaplain Daryl is from New York City. And Chaplain Daryl has a small congregation. But over the multiple of years that he's a chaplain in New York City, he has a Sunday school. And in that Sunday school over the years, 300 children come through his Sunday school. And all of those children grow up to fulfill their individual dreams. But then one day, Chaplain Daryl is walking through cold New York City and slips on ice and breaks his ankle. You might be wondering, what has this got to do with the story? This is horrible. The chaplain has already gone from being an integral life in 300 children and them growing up to now breaking his ankle. Where does this lead us? Well, this is where the story gets very interesting. See, Chaplain Daryl, not only with these 300 children in his Sunday school, but four times a week, he would walk to the World Trade Center and he would do some preaching at the World Trade Center four days a week. But because he broke his ankle and then he tried to go to the World Trade Center on September 11th, 2001, and just walking up the steps was too difficult that morning. So he turned around because he was on crutches. And so he survived the September 11th attacks. And you might be saying, that's a pretty cool story. But here's where it also gets very interesting. Well, then on this cold South Carolina Sunday morning, while I'm taking a walk on my own neighborhood path, I meet Chaplain Daryl. And he tells me this story. So, what's the point of all this? Well, the point of all this is, get out there. Say hello to people. Introduce yourself. For me to learn Chaplain Daryl's story, it was as simple as, Good morning. Hello. I'm Mike. And then the story started. So get out there. But this, this reminds me of a whole nother story. Because what I should have done was take a selfie with Chaplain Daryl. And I will tell you, if I'm ever out walking again, and Chaplain Daryl with his little dog and I cross paths, I will get that selfie. But a week ago today, so just a week ago Sunday, there was a very similar story that I had. You see, it's almost been a year ago that while I was streaming on Mixer and I was learning how to do the chat bots and learning how just to stream on Mixer and using all the software, a random viewer came in and started asking me questions about how to do stuff that I've learned. And through those questions, the bottom line of that story, at least of the tutorials, is basically that his computer was shit. Right? And we really couldn't fix what he, his issue was, because his computer, like I said, was just shit. And that person still streams on Mixer today. And his name 
is Genosaurus Rex. And I'll put a link to, to his Mixer channel in the description below. But we talked about that if I ever came to England, we would meet. So a week ago Sunday, an old 48-year-old from South Carolina in the U.S. met Genosaurus Rex from Northern Manchester, England, and we met. And I did get that selfie. So what are these two stories about? Well, I hear a lot of conversation about building a community online. But to me, it's more than just building a community. It's really about two things. One, it's about building those connections. And when I say connection, I mean together, face to face, meeting the people and hearing their stories. And the second thing then is also about collaborations. And that's one of the things that I want to do with my online persona is I want to build collaborations, right? I want to meet people. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not an artist by any way. And what I mean by artist is I don't draw, <laughs> I don't do music. Pretty much the only thing that I might be is funny. And eh, maybe I have good stories because I'm 48 years old. So get out there, make those connections, and build those collaborations. And again, I will see you in week seven.